Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this video I'm going to show you useful hotkeys for intermediate and advanced users in Blender. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. The first hotkey is uh, Control Space, which uh, allows you to hide the properties and the outliner, and then Control Alt Space for a full screen area. By pressing Control Alt Q, you get the quad view which gives you uh, three additional windows, both the front view, side view, top view, and the user perspective. Like this. And then next, we're going to press Del on the numpad, which uh, gives you a closer look at an object. For example, if we duplicate this one and then press Del on the numpad, you can see that our perspective now moves around the uh, selected object. Next, we're going to set up the uh, Flycam hotkey. So let's go into uh, Preferences, and then Navigation, and make sure to turn on Gravity as well. And then next, we're going to go into the key map, and then search for Navigation, and then set the uh, hotkey to Shift F. Make sure to save if you didn't. Then press Shift F for fly cam, and then press Tab to turn on or off gravity. And uh, you move around with W, A, S, and D. There are also hotkeys to uh, change between windows. So, for example, Shift F5 is for the uh, 3D view, and uh, Shift F11 for uh, the text window, and so on. That might be useful. And uh, let's press Shift D to uh, duplicate, and then let's select this one, and then press Control i to invert the selection. And when you press uh, Control i you will select everything except the uh, object or the objects that you selected. You can also press Shift-G to select similar types of objects. In this case, similar type means any other cube. And then next, we're going to uh, add subdivisions using a hotkey. So press Control 4 to add the uh, four subdivisions, for example. Or you can uh, press Control 5 to add five subdivisions using the uh, subdivision surface modifier with a uh, hotkey. Now, if you ever want to uh, move the uh, 3D cursor back to the center, you can press Shift C. And as you can see, the uh, cursor will move back to the center. The uh, next hotkey will be Control Alt Numpad 0, which moves the active camera to view. So uh, Control Alt Numpad 0 gives you camera to view. Now, next, I'm going to show you two different ways to add bevel in uh, Blender. So uh, let's go into edit mode by pressing Tab and then press Ctrl B for bevel, and then use the mouse wheel to add additional edges. And this is the way you bevel for edges and faces. And if you only want bevel for a vertex, you just press Ctrl Shift B for vertex bevel. And uh, you also use the mouse wheel for this type of bevel. And then you can go into the bevel settings and uh, change it up even more. For example, the profile, so that uh, the bevel goes inwards, like this. And you can also uh, add a uh, custom profile to make the result even more interesting. OK, so uh, let's delete this one. And uh, next, we're going to take a look at the knife tool, which enables you to add extra vertices, edges, and faces. So press K for the knife tool. And then we can add a, a few vertices. Let's make a triangle. And then press Enter to confirm. And as you can see, we now have a uh, new face that you can delete, for example. And uh, next, we're going to take a look at the uh, rip function. So press V to rip, which uh, disconnects this edge to uh, the other edges in the uh, cube. Okay, 
and uh, we can also uh, rip fill. Let's just delete this one and go into edit mode for uh, this cube. And then let's select a face and then press Alt V to rip fill. And what rip fill does here is to uh, disconnect two edges while simultaneously generating faces in between them. And you can also press O to add uh, proportional editing so that when you uh, grab this edge and have uh, proportional editing enabled and use the mouse wheel to increase the influence, you can see that by moving this edge, we also move the other ones because of the proportional editing influence. You can also press P to separate a uh, face like this. And another hotkey is the uh, hotkey for snapping. So holding control for snapping and uh, that only moves the uh, object one unit at a time. So if we press N to see the side panel and then press G and then set, we've grabbed on the set axis and holding control, you can see that we move one unit on the set axis at a time. And uh, next we're going to get into the hotkeys for the different types of selection. So uh, press one for vertex selection, press two for edge selection, and then press three for face selection. Okay. And then uh, we're going to uh, select the uh, sphere. So uh, let's apply the uh, modifier and then go to edge selection and then hold in alt to uh, select an edge loop, which is also a very useful hotkey in Blender. Now, if you want to insert a face inside another one, you can press I to insert, and hold in shift to select multiple faces and then press I twice to uh, insert faces to each of them individually. Now, if you want to hide everything except the object you have selected, just press Shift H and then press Alt H to uh, bring them back again. Okay, and then you can press F2 to rename the selected object. And then press Enter to save. And you can press F3 for the search menu, which uh, can be quite useful. Okay, so uh, next I'm going to show you how to separate a uh, face from the rest of the object which is different from uh, RIP. So if you try to press V, you can see that it doesn't work. But if you press Y, then G, you can see that we separated the face from the rest of the mesh. So uh, that's how you do that. Now let's uh, press G, then set, and then press Shift R to repeat the previous actions. And that's also a very useful hotkey. As you can see, in this case, it repeated both the uh, duplication process and the grabbing of the sphere. Okay, and then next, we're going to uh, jump between uh, keyframes. So let's add some keyframes. Press I to keyframe. And then if we uh, go in the middle of the two uh, keyframes and then press the up arrow or down arrow, you can see that we can move between the keyframes, which is very useful for uh, when you set up animations. Okay, and uh, next, you can try to rotate an object. So press R once to just rotate it, or press R twice to rotate the object freely. If we go into uh, edit mode, so press tab to go into edit mode, and then let's duplicate it, shift D to duplicate, now, if you select one of the uh, faces and press L, you can see that we select all of the linked vertices, so uh, basically the whole cube. Now, if you want to clear the rotation, i.e. set the rotation values back to zero, you can press Alt-R to clean the rotation. Okay, and then press number zero to look through the camera, and then I'm going to press I to uh, keyframe and then G to grab and I to keyframe. Now to render an image, just press F12. 
12. And to render an animation, just press Ctrl F12. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, more tutorials coming very soon. And I also want to thank uh, Mr. Monkey Shoes and Terry Davis for supporting the channel.